A live look at San Francisco tonight. The district attorney and local politicians are denouncing the alleged use of DNA from rape victims to implicate them in unrelated crimes. KPF 5 reporter Betty Yu joins us with more on that story. Betty. Ryan and Liz, this is a case where Chase Boudin says law enforcement misused a sexual assault DNA evidence. He says that the practice of using a victim's DNA to subsequently incriminate that same person must end. Police Chief Bill Scott tonight agrees this issue needs to be addressed. Themselves. Today, District Attorney Chase Boudin said he recently discovered a case where a sexual assault victim's DNA was used against her after the fact. He said that a law enforcement database with such evidence is currently being used to search for and identify possible suspects in crimes, and he called it legally and ethically wrong. Boudin said in a statement in part, I am disturbed that victims who have the courage to undergo an invasive examination to help identify their perpetrators are being treated like criminals rather than supported as crime victims. There are already so many barriers to sexual assault survivors coming forward. And the idea that we would also signal to survivors that if you provide a DNA sample, then that might be used against you in the future. That, that's just horrific. San Francisco Police Chief Bill Scott sure said if it is true to... that DNA was used by SFPD to identify and later apprehend that person as a suspect in another crime, he's committed to ending that practice. He added that the department's existing DNA collection policies have been legally vetted and conform with state and national forensic standards. Although I am informed of the possibility that the suspect in this case may have been identified through a DNA hit in a non-victim DNA database. I think the questions raised by our district attorney today are sufficiently concerning. If that is allowed under current California law, then we're definitely going to look at uh, potentially doing legislation to outlaw it. And Chief Scott said that the department will immediately begin reviewing their DNA collection practices and policies. He's also reached out to the city attorney on this matter. Boudin said that he will hold a press conference to address his concerns tomorrow morning. Ryan.